What if I told you there was a simple way to launch all your games from the Xbox Game Bar? Today's software spotlight is One Game Launcher, an Xbox Game Bar widget that you can launch all your games from. I'll be demoing this on my One X Player 2, but this works for all your Windows handheld devices. You just need to open the Xbox Game Bar. You can do that with a single press on the One X Player 2, a home button long press on the AOK -OK Zoe. You can open it with the Xbox button on the Win 4, It'll even work on the AYN Loki Max. For INEO, we have to set up the Xbox button, so we're gonna go to ISPACE and go to EVO Configure, and I'm gonna set LC to be the Xbox button. And now I can just press LC to launch Game Bar. Before I show you how to get the software and how to set it up, I'll give you a brief tour of the app. So it's an Xbox Game Bar widget, and you can launch your games from it. So here we have all of our games, we have some favorites, so if you have games you play more frequently, you can look at your Steam library. Another cool thing is you can actually get your cloud games, so these don't have to be downloaded on your device, it'll just populate a list from the Xbox Game Pass. And then you can also get free games. Uh, I'm not sure where the sources are, but it'll link you to whatever games are free to download. I'll show you how easy it is to actually launch a game. So let's move over to Steam and I'm gonna boot up Persona 5. So I've already got Steam running in the background so it's a pretty instant boot up. If you don't have the whatever game launcher you have running in the background, it'll need to open it first and then it'll launch the game right away without any further input. The nice thing about Game Bar is it remembers which widgets you had open last time and they automatically open. So to get to this menu to boot up the game, it's extremely quick if you had it open last time. All right, now that you've fallen in love with the app, I'll show you how to set it up. So let's go over to the Microsoft Store, and we're going to search for One Game Launcher. So the one that we're looking for is the first result, One Game Launcher. It's a free download, so we're going to click Get to download it. And wow, my internet's amazing. It's ready to go. So let's open this up. Before you use the widget, we of course need to scan our games in. So you can scan the different stores here. You can get Steam, Epic, Microsoft Store, GOG Galaxy, Ubisoft. You can also add some custom games, which I can show you later. And it shouldn't take long to scan your games, and there they are. So I've got my Steam games, I've got some cloud games, and the free games. So we'll just make sure that everything's here. Looks like we're good. Let's go ahead and close this app. I'll take you through what settings the app has. So we're going to open up the widget again, and we're going to click on our one game launcher. Now if we click on the settings menu, you can see there's a few options. We can adjust the cover art for the different icons, you can adjust the width, the height, as well as adjust the stretch. So you can have it fill, you can have it stretch uh, in different ways, uniform fill. Um, you can experiment with them to see what they all do. You can also install custom game paths, so I'm just going to pretend I'm typing something here, but uh, if you wanted to add a game that's not showing up on the scan, you could manually put it. You can change the theme to light or dark. You can also show hidden games, and there will be more options coming later. If we go back into the app, I have one last thing to show you. So there's a link for the Reddit for this app. So that's where the developer is able to post some of the updates. They have a pro version that's planned that's going to have a few new features added in. It's not live yet, but they're working on it. So if you're curious about more of the information, go to the Reddit, and you can look up some of the different posts that they have, some of the information, frequently asked questions and whatnot. And that's going to do it for this one. If you want to see more software spotlights, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Thanks for watching.